running the box scraper across uh, the dirt yard, cow yard, feed yard today. What we're doing is uh, dragging the manure up onto uh, onto the mounds. Um, that's where I I drag it up there, uh, level it out, kind of pack it down so it builds a dry place for the cows, cows to lay. So we'll go through here, uh, well it's probably been a month since uh, I've been through this yard, there's only handful of cows out here right now but uh <clears throat> basically use the the box scraper to uh to level everything out and <clears throat> basically drag uh drag the more we run down to the hard pan uh where the original uh, dirt layer was so all the rest of it gets uh Pulled up, piled, piled on uh, on a mound, and the cows will lay on that uh, for resting spots. Uh, the idea is when it rains, uh, the mounds will be dry, uh, and then the valleys between the mounds uh, will drain the water away. So that's uh, the reason for scraping these yards is to come through here and and make. Um, keep the drainage the drainage uh, ways open uh, where the water will uh, will run uh, so basically uh, when it's raining or when it's wet uh, these yards will be uh, I guess they've had they've had cattle on them for so long that uh, it's almost like concrete out here so if you keep the manure uh, scraped off of it uh, it can rain, but the water will just run, run away. And then when you got the the resting areas, the mounds shaped like this, uh, the cows will have a nice dry place to lay uh, when it's wet. We do have one one hole here. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how it got started, but uh, we'll get that drug drug out of there and fill back in. Well, the main reason to scrape yards, or another reason to scrape yards is because I feed uh, in tractor tires out here. I don't have a uh, fence line feed bunks or cement uh, aprons or driveways or whatever uh, to feed cattle out in the dirt yards. So we have to like uh, actually drive out through them to feed. Uh, so to keep the manure cleaned up. When it rains, it's uh, it's just it's just slippery. It's not you do not get stuck. I'll basically be just like driving across this right now. It just be uh, you might be sliding around a little bit. Uh, so that's a uh, other reason to keep this clean. Uh, these cows are just eating uh, around bale of hay. Um, when we're done, uh, these tires will all be lined up in a row along here. Dirt scraper it works really good. Uh, Dad was out here. This yard uh, hasn't really been scraped real well for the last several years. Mainly because we didn't have anything really to do it with other than a three point blade. And then also uh, this yard usually ended up being empty in the summer, then the weeds would grow in it. Um, so this yard's kind of taking a little bit of time to get it back into where it needs to be. Dad was out here Friday, uh, did quite a bit of work after a couple hours with work. I've done a couple hours today. Basically, I've, we've got it down. We've got the yard uh, back into uh, production uh, in about five hours, six hours with the box scraper. Uh, 
with a three point blade, we'd still be at it for another four days. Yeah. So it really does move a lot of work. It's a little hard to get uh, videos of our work in uh, just because it takes three hands to run it. Uh, check out the Dairy Farm Boys on YouTube. Uh, uh, they've got a whole series of run, run uh, box scrapers uh, basically doing the same thing I do. Uh, they're the same purpose. Uh, they're working with dairy cattle. Well, I'm working with beef cattle, but uh, I think they, they drag scrapers around every day. Every day, twice a day, all the time. So there you have it. Uh, we'll probably have, we'll have some more videos.